everyone, every woman, every woman. I want to talk about some. I want to talk about sex today, and sexual act and its power. And actually, I want to talk about something very weird. And sex is something that is a big taboo, you know, that nobody's like. It's like something secret, or hidden, but it has, it has amazing power. And now I'm gonna be talking about something really weird. So just take it as it. It's really just another story, <laughs> but there is something about it always. Because let me tell you something. When you want to say something that will have meaning really for this world or do something for this world. There always have to be higher intention behind it, and higher intention uh, can be there only when you are speaking your truth, when you are speaking from your heart, and when you are speaking from within. It means you don't take anything from outside. You are speaking your truth, and this is how we're gonna become one one day when we are all in in our middle and we speak our truth we speak our perspective and the truth will uh, we will find the truth god the unity the unity is the truth we will find it in between all of those perspectives so it's very important to, to talk about your truth no matter how crazy it is so i'm gonna tell you this story of mine this perspective of mine that i have about sex and sexual act and and so in the beginning i don't want to say in the beginning of this planet because this planet is 3d world created perfect simulation it's not really that planet as it looks like mother earth is our heart heart earth very similar word so we are the planet but it's the 3d around us it's not really how it looks like because i remember i have the memories from from the beginning uh, where we created the, the 3D, where we started to create here. And there was nothing, there was absolutely nothing. This 3D world was all created as a perfect simulation. And there were only women in the beginning. And we lived for a long period uh, of time, only women. And then we created men to experience love. So that we can love and so that we can go back to unity through sexual act when you have sex with somebody uh, with some woman with a with a guy you integrate all the women that he slept with when you're a woman when you're a man you are like it's like USB going to the computer it's like a device oh just the boot fell down it's like a device going into the computer so while the sexual act when you are when you are doing it without condom you are transmitting datas datas about all the women that the guy slept with and you are integrating those women and so this is very interesting so you have to in when you take this consciously and you are aware of this system that it works like this it's much easier for you because you are actually becoming the women that he slept with you know so sometimes it's very difficult and very a lot of darkness coming out because there are women that are bitches and that are uh, this and that and there are silly women and uh, goddesses and so but all of them are to integrate you know to integrate within so sometimes when I sleep with a guy that he had like a some terrible woman before then uh, a lot of a whole shit of darkness comes out 
and I have to integrate that also those women are also me, that it's also me, that I'm also that bitch, that I'm also that jealous, that I'm, that I'm also that manipulative. Sometimes it's nice, you know, when you, uh, when I was integrating, for example, some silly uh, sex machines women, then I was like experiencing that woman. I hope it's understandable a little bit. <laughs> the message is, is in there, you know, I'm telling you really from, from within. So this is an integration game. And we have uh, agreements with the other souls who's gonna sleep with who in uh, order in, uh, to integrate. Going back to unity. It's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> I told you. Okay. Have a nice day. And I wish you good luck on your way to the integration, my dear women. Mm-hmm. <laughs>